What's going on guys? Vic VP back with a Game Case Arcades video on this one today. Oh man, if you didn't see my short, you could tell just how excited I am. Man, we are unboxing a Jersey Jack pinball machine. None other than The Godfather. And it's the collector's edition. And I had to remove the topper. This was gonna be crazy. Ah! Stay tuned! Alright guys, you know Joe from follow me on all the socials. What are you waiting for? Be sure to follow me at Vic underscore VP. The link tree link is down below. Be sure to like, subscribe, wherever the bell thing is going off. Be sure to do all that. If you're not following me, what are you waiting for? Also, I think I'm gonna get a lot of new viewers with this video because of the big thing I'm writing there. Basically, we are unboxing a Jersey Jack pinball machine. We are unboxing the Godfather Collector's Edition. I'm also taking advantage of this moment here. Number one, this is my first ever pinball machine. I've never purchased one. Yes, I did go all out. I am very excited. No, I'm not a Jersey Jack pinball like fanatic. I'm not a, what's the word, like a fanboy. Um, this machine, I have a lot to talk about. You're gonna see a lot more future videos of this. It's just kind of crazy because Jersey Jack doesn't have a great unboxing video. If you actually look up their stuff or even on their website, it redirects you to a dialed in pinball unboxing at an expo center shot on like a Nokia one megapixel camera. So I'm gonna take advantage of this and also do an unboxing. This is my first ever unboxing of a pinball machine. I've never done it. So join me on this little journey. Now, like I said, I'm very excited. You can tell if you saw my short that I posted, I am very excited. I am, no joke, I'm a kid on Christmas morning right now. I love this. I have a lot of videos to talk about. There's gonna be a lot of videos on this. Um, as I said in the beginning, yes, I have to remove the topper on this machine before I even bring it down to the basement slash kind of put it on its feet. My goal right now is to bring this down to the basement and then remove the topper while I'm down there because I don't want to lose anything. But yes, you might be saying, Vic, why did you get a collector's edition? It doesn't even fit in your room. The topper is amazing. I am going to take advantage of this moment and also probably, possibly offer a modification to the topper. I don't want to talk too much about it, but just stay tuned because I do have a big plan for the gunners. But again, the collector's edition is not just the topper. The play field with the gold flake you got like the, the lions on the feet, uh, on, the, on, the, on the legs. You got the horse head plunger. You got the side art. There's a lot more to it than just the topper. Not to mention the extra little cost, not little, but the extra cost from the LE to the CE. Those topper gunners is just that amount alone. So again, yes, unfortunately it will not fit in my area. I'm gonna talk about that later on when we get to it and I'll talk about pin side and all that, but there's just a lot to talk about. I don't wanna talk too much, just definitely stay tuned for a lot of videos on this. Um, without further ado, let's get to the unboxing. Like I said, on separate videos, I'm gonna talk about the actual deal I got. Somebody had an offer on Pinside, and I couldn't refuse it. So, um, I, there's a lot to discuss right now. Right now, it literally just pulled up. Not to mention, I did buy this for myself as a birthday gift for myself, yes. My birthday was yesterday, I'm 33 years old, I'm old as hell. And I said, hey, I want a pinball machine. I fell in love with The Godfather. I went to go play it again in a separate video. I'm going to talk about my journey about playing an LE. What a story I have for that. Um, it just arrived today. This is now August 31st, the day after my birthday. Came off the truck. It was wrapped. I thought the box would be able to come off the pallet. I do have a hand truck that I do plan to put the pin on. I do have to go down a couple of steps. Um, and not to mention the way my house is, I have to also measure how this pinball machine is. If I was going to leave this in the box, the box right now is 31 by 30. And my doorway right by the garage, which is closer to my basement, it's only, I think, like 28 inch opening. Too close for call. I have to literally bring this behind in the backyard, up a couple of steps, and then down four steps, and then down another four steps. So before anything, 
measure. <laughs> Make sure this thing will go into its place. Again, I do have that little bit of a winding curve, but it is A-OK. -okay. I do not want to damage and risk artwork getting scraped. I did not wait all this time for this machine for me to mess it up. So there's a lot going on. Again, I unstrapped it. I thought the machine was separate from the actual pallet. It looks like there's a piece of wood underneath the cabinet, the base of it that is bolted or either stapled to the pallet. Um, so I right now don't even know what I'm going to do. I took the top off. The top had the legs that's behind you. That's kind of basic stuff. Uh, I'm basically right now, I'm aiming to not cut the cardboard. This does pull up. I don't want to cut the cardboard. I do want to save it just in case in the future if I want to ship it. I do want to save the cardboard. So I'm going to lift up the garage. I'm going to pull the pallet out, lift the cardboard up, and then probably just bring it back inside. But yes, join me on this unboxing journey. Okay, I contradicted myself. I, I just, I cut the box. I actually didn't cut it. It just kind of pulls off. There is a side here that does say like pull here. I am doing this live with you guys. <laughs> I am excited. If you can't tell, I am excited. Like I said, unfortunately, it's just it's it's on a piece of wood. I wish it would come off. Basically, my plan right now is I do have a hand truck. Um, I'm also stubborn. I should get help. Um, <laughs> I do have a hand truck, so I'm hoping that I could basically take the cabinet off and then put it back on onto the actual hand truck. Um, and then if all looks great, I would actually just hand truck it down the basement. Um, there's a lot going on. Uh, looks like we got some wrap here. We're doing it. I'm opening this up. If I have to wait for my brother to come in, I will wait, but at least I'll save time. And we will basically just unbox it. I am, like I said, I'm a kid on Christmas morning. Again, doing this kind of live. Yes, I will be editing and stuff, but I should see. Again, I'm not trying to rip anything. Woo. I'm not trying to rip like the wrap. Because again, I do plan to put this on a hand truck. The wrapping on this is amazing, number one. I mean, also it's great on the box, it does have like this tip kind of thing where it says like if the liquid past the arrow, um, you know, you'll know that it basically tipped over in transit. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Now again, the big thing that's kind of difficult, you're going to see later on in the video, the topper. Uh, shout out to all the people on pin side. Uh, that's just a great area to get information and all that. Somebody on pin side, a couple of people I should say, that's why I'm anxious to do this mod. Um, a couple of people on pin side have stated that the topper is only held down by four screws, but there is one screw, so it's really five screws. There is one screw inside of the back box that you have to get to to remove the topper. So like I said before, apparently on pin side, this cabinet overall height, you look at it around 86 to 87 inches high. Tall, I should say. My basement is 82. Again, in a separate video, I'll talk about my ideas for that topper, but I have to basically, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I might put the front legs on, drop this down, lift the back box, and then remove the topper, drop back box, and then put the rear legs on. Um, standard, without the topper, this should be at 76 inches, so I should be in the clear, but I am excited. <laughs> All right guys, so a quick update, I was wrong. The actual piece of wood that is underneath this is not bolted to the pallet. The cabinet is just so heavy, um, I thought it was bolted to the pallet. Long story short, I changed my game plan. I originally had to go down two flights of steps. Realizing how heavy this thing was, I said, you know what, gotta go back to the drawing board. So I actually took the door, the doors I should say, I had the windscreen door and the actual door here to the side of the house. That has a 31 inch opening. This box, just like how you see here, just got through the door. So now, waiting for my brother to come in, we just gotta go down four steps. Uh, again, awesome stuff. I'm very happy that you know, the base to the actual cabinet was not bolted to the pallet. I did think it was bolted, but this thing is heavy. I have my neighbor outside, he's talking on the phone. Basically, if I try to truck this right here, it ain't moving. <laughs> 
you need somebody on the opposite side to tilt it back. Once it was on the hand truck though, smooth sailing as I bought it in on my own. Now though, to get it down the stairs, I'm definitely gonna wait for some help. All right guys, so check it out. We finally got it into the basement. Shout out to my brother, Chris Villa, my brother-in-law here. Thank you so much. He is the muscle behind it. As you can see, I do have these five steps. No joke, 32 inches to 33 inches. Luckily, I had the hand truck, left it in the box, went down, and I'm not gonna lie, I thought it was gonna fall on him. This thing is a tank, it is heavy. So we got into the basement right now. I got the front legs on. Now I have to do the process of removing the topper. So I decided to do it where I'm gonna keep the front legs on. Look at my brother-in-law here. He'll keep his hands on the front. I'm gonna lift up the back box. I'm gonna actually find out how to open up the back box and stuff. There's keys in the front. I'm gonna remove the strap. My main thing is with him, with Chris, he's just gonna keep his hands on the front because I have a feeling that if I lift up the back box, it might go with it. Again, you can see the ceiling light here. I, uh, I don't have enough ceiling height. Again, 82 inches. The topper on this is about 86 to 87 inches tall. So I was gonna do this without the legs on. Uh, I just felt like it might be kind of an issue as far as getting our fingers underneath the cabinet. Uh, but right now, like I said, we're gonna take the strap off. He's gonna hold the cabinet. I'm gonna lock the back box in place and we're gonna see how this topper is being held down. All right, so check it out. We got the back box locked in. Again, Chris is holding the front. He doesn't actually need to hold it, but just to be safe, you know, we don't wanna break anything, but look at the topper. It is beautiful. And unfortunately it will not fit, but I'm gonna take out the topper. I do see here, I see the one screw here. I see another screw here. There's four screws in total. We have a couple of connections. These are kind of quick disconnects. So again, I'm gonna have to see what exactly is going on, but we're gonna get ready to remove the topper. Uh, I'm gonna open up his coin door. We're gonna take the key here and I'm gonna remove the back glass. All right, so check it out. We got the back glass removed, removing the topper. Chris helped me out here. So check it out. There's one screw dead in the middle, as you can see right there. I'll tell you what the size head it was, a 3 8 I'd use a 3 8 ratchet type to remove it. That is what that piece looks like. And now I'm moving on to the topper. So I have easy access for these two here. The other two are behind the gunners, but I'm gonna remove the skyline here. Pretty simple, there's four screws here I'm gonna take out. I already took two out. Basically, I wanna make sure that I remove the micro USB connection to this. Check it out, we already got two of them out. I'm gonna do this one here. It's pretty cool, it looks like this skyline, it's like a piece of plexi, but it is flexible. I mean, it's not flexible, but it does have a bend. It's basically being kind of forcefully bent with these screws. So basic kind of Phillips heads. Keep in mind, I haven't watched much people modifying this. Somebody did post it on pin side that they removed this. So here we go, we got the skyline out. There you go. Woo, set this aside. And it looks like, what do I have to do? I'm gonna have to remove also this black skyline to get closer to the PCB. Actually, I may not. Yes, I'm gonna remove the skyline just to get a better view on the PCB. Okay guys, change of plans. Actually, it's much easier to simply remove the power and the USB here. You basically reach in, it's right behind the car. You can see that the USB port here. And then right on the edge here, you could definitely get your hand in like this. It's got this kind of head here. You basically pinch and pull out. So this now, I'm gonna push this in. This is the only wire is going to this topper. So this power blue, I'm gonna put this down into the hole and also the USB and the whole topper comes out. Also be sure you do wanna disconnect the RGBs that are going here, and that should be it. Everything else is connected to the topper, so let's get this topper off. All right, so check it out. I basically tucked in right through the hole. I put the power and the USB. I have all four screws out, so as you can see, I am loose, but it looks like the piece that is going to the bottom of the actual back box, that screw underneath, that's what's holding it in place. So technically right now, I should be able to, and hopefully, Lift this straight up. Gonna make sure that none of our connectors, oh, we do have connectors here. Yeah, I see the oh, we do have 
I gotta remove actually these connectors here. So my mistake. Do you have a connector on the inside? Yeah, no, I see it. I see it. Okay, I'm gonna put this back inside so we don't lose it. There we go, my mistake. So we have actually two zip ties. So right up top here, I, I don't have the right head for it, but I'm basically using pliers. Uh, it's on each side, the left and the right. You basically just unscrew this. You could cut this, but I'd rather save it. And now we have these kind of addressable LED connections are out. And now the topper should be able to come out. Cool. All right, so check it out. I tucked in now the wires. So again, we had LED wires that connect to this back box piece. I'm hoping, uh, I mean, worst case, I can always bring them back up. Maybe these are actually, it looks like communication wires. So we're gonna have to reconnect that. But right now, if all is good, this topper should be able to come up. Look at that. Yes. And like I said, we will be modifying this. It is heavy. This thing's heavy. Think of beauty, we're gonna put it in a nice area. All right, we got topper off. I'm right now gonna unlock back box, I'm gonna drop it back down, and then we're gonna put the legs on this thing. How about if you move those things at the bottom? No, it's like the, it's the Lego lovers. I could do that, but it, you see the size of it. Yeah. My brother-in-law is like me, where I, for no joke, two hours, I was down here measuring. I'm like, this has to fit. Look at this, I have yet to level it, I'll grab the fucking ruler later. This is how much room I have. That's why the modification for that topper, I'm aiming to put the gunners here. I haven't said what the mod is, but that is what I'm aiming for. But this right here, my brother-in-law has never seen this. I guess he's never seen a newer pin. Nope. He's just mind blown about everything. He loves the play. We didn't even look at the play field. I went to go get a screwdriver and he's peaked and he's like, whoa. I was like, bro, <laughs> wait. But it is here. It is. Oh man, it's in its spot. I'm more excited to turn this thing on once we see the LEDs on. I do believe though I have to connect the LEDs here, but I have enough room here. That's not an issue. I needed his muscle to just help me bring it down. And we're talking pinball, he's like mind blown. Yes, it's here. All right, take a look at that. We got the whole, we got the protection off. We gotta open up, we gotta remove the glass, we gotta remove the lockdown bar. We still have to take the play field out. I do see the tilt bob here. There is a couple of toys that have plastic, so we definitely have to take the glass off. Man, this is my first time underneath a pinball machine. Look at that, lockdown bar off. What a fucking thing of beauty, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they, definitely, they definitely did some good artwork. <laughs> Alright, we got coin door closed. I'm wearing gloves. <laughs> and we are going to slide this insane Invisiglass. You want to be very careful with this tempered glass. Basically supporting it nice and easy. Oh, thing. What a thing of beauty. I don't even know what I want to do with this now. I'm going to put this here. You want to be very careful with this. I'm going to leave it right there. Whoa. <laughs> Unbelievable. Again, you got to be very careful with glass, tempered glass. Let's do it. Let's take off some toys. But just take a look at the play field right now. Not much really going on. There is basically a foam piece here. I believe that's either Mike or Floyd. Got one foam piece here. We do have also a foam piece behind the Statue of Liberty. Just gonna make sure, look at the spinners on this. Again, my first ever pinball machine. Amazing. I am excited. I am I'm a kid in a candy store right now. This is amazing also very cool jersey jack giving side protectors i'm gonna lift the play field just to make sure anything else underneath they actually give you plastic to protect the artwork look at the artwork in this it is beautiful it's a it's a great vinyl it's like a textured vinyl it's not even like a glossy like the sides this is like a textured vinyl man i'm excited so located inside the coin door in the base of the cabinet, you do have these protectors here. 
I want to make sure that I don't put it in the wrong way, but this right here, I'm actually going to use two hands. As you can see, I'm still using the gloves. This again is just my first ever, look at that, it fits perfectly. I am going to lift up the play field just to make sure in case anything else is there. But what a little touch for Jersey Jack. Oh, I've never lifted a play field now, so apparently hand underneath the apron. This goes up like a car. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna hold the rails. Wow. I'm, this is the first time I'm ever doing this. I have never in my life, I have never lifted a pinball play field before. I thought it was gonna be much harder. <laughs> I don't know if I have enough ceiling height to even get this vertical. The real thing is if I'm even out or not, there it goes. And then up. So I'm not gonna go all the way because I don't have the protection on the top for the back box. I do see the tilt bob here. I'm gonna probably ask Chris if he could just hold his up to here. Remember. Oh, I hit the ceiling. <laughs> all right, that's okay. So I can't get totally vertical. That's A-OK. -okay. I don't care about the ceiling. So just the tilt bob is here. Cool, thank you, Chris. I could get this from underneath though. I don't see anything else as far as the rear. I'm gonna drop this play field. Awesome. Might be a little bit of a headache if I have to do wiring for the play field as I don't have enough ceiling height. But at least I got to experience lifting a pinball play field. So now inside the coin door, I still have the glass off. I got the protectors still on. But the big thing was that the coin door here apparently, it's got a little pin. Coin box, I should say. I believe it has some goodies, such as the pinballs. And apparently we should have another gangster somewhere. We do have some goodies in here. We got the power plug. That's great. We have some extra stickers. Oh, look at that. Okay, cool. We got some extra rubbers. And it's actually the head. That's cool. So the whole gangster assembly is the same, but the head could change. I like this head because of the cigar. But he's got the hat. Got some extra kind of artwork. This is the main thing I'm, ex I'm anxious for is that we do have, these are magnetic. Eric, amazing game, uh, but you have worse handwriting than me. So uh, I'm gonna switch that over to one of these. I'm gonna put the dollar equals one play and they give you some pinballs. I personally do have barren pinballs, so I may not be using these. But for right now, we're gonna get the power plug in and let's just see this thing on. All right, my brother-in-law got the first game. I gave it to him because honestly, without him, uh, I don't know how this thing would have made it down. I just did the leg leveling. I used uh, the app on the iPhone. I think it's called like Pin Guy. Uh, pretty cool app. You basically put it on your play field by the flippers and it'll tell you, hey, left rear. You can also set the pitch. I have my game right now set to 6.7, 6.8. Recommended 6.5 to 7. My brother-in-law played the first game. I posted it on Instagram. I'll probably just throw a you know, a quick snippet here. I will let my brother-in-law do the honors of playing the first game. Press start. Let's see. Choose your family. Oh! <laughs> While he was playing that game, um, it wasn't leveled. The system is not leveled at all. 
He did do a full plunge and it actually went around the rear orbit. In a separate video, we're gonna be talking about a couple of things that you must do. As far as looking at pin side, there's great people there. There is a Godfather page. It's called Keep It In The Family. Uh, it's all Godfather. There are some people that have a couple of things and I do plan to make a separate video, almost like a top five to top 10 things you must do to this cabinet. Uh, right now playing around with like the settings. Again, this is my first time ever with the pinball machine. I am learning so much as it goes. I right now do want to enable adult mode, so I'm looking for that. I right now did the connection to the Wi-Fi. The game came shipped to me with version 1.08 CE. Um, is it seven o'clock right now? It is seven o'clock on the dot, so the timing and all that is there. I'm gonna set it to adult mode. Um, I'm gonna then probably play around. I'm gonna run a couple of tests, maybe do a couple of pop bumpers. Uh, like I said, in a separate video, we're gonna do a couple of like the top five must do's. Um, all in all though, my brother-in-law fell in love with it. He is like mind blown. <laughs> He's like, I never seen pinball like this. And I said, yes, this is honestly the biggest reason why I wanted this. Jersey Jack, it's, again, I don't want to sound like a fanboy, okay? Um, it is just, it's a thing of beauty. It's unreal. It is an eye-catching piece. The LED shows some people, yes, you might not like the LEDs, but I love it. All right, so inside the topper box, the box I was covering, the topper in the corners, very well stored with zip ties. You do have your magnetic lion legs. Very good wrapping, honestly. They did great with this. I'm excited to... It's got some weight to it. It's not heavy. Let's see how this works. Wow, it is just straight magnetic. Wow. That's cool. That is a strong magnet on it. That is, yeah, no, you're not. You have to be throwing the cabinet to have that fall off. Definitely want to make sure it does magnetize good. You don't want to be too low or else you might scratch the leg. Basically, there's like three holes. There's three, like really two because of the, you know, the leg lugs, basically. And I mean, it's got, it's got a powerful magnet to it. Just gotta find the sweet spot. Boom, there you go. Nice, it doesn't even like go up and down. Like, you know, oh, is it on right? That's suctioned in, wow. <laughs> All right guys, so just stepped away for dinner. It's been a crazy day. Uh, I would never imagine I was at this state. Um, I haven't even played a game yet. Uh, my brother-in-law was the only one so far, one game. Again, it wasn't leveled, but I honestly wanted him to at least experience it before he went. Um, just a couple of things we're gonna go through. Uh, you know, kind of some basic common stuff. Some of the things also, as you can see, like I don't have the glass on. I'm gonna make a separate video on a couple of things that you should do. Kind of like the first five or 10 things you should do if you own a Godfather's pin. Like I said, right now I'm kind of tired. Um, I'm gonna do a couple of little more details. We're gonna talk about the pinballs themselves. I didn't show you what the process is on that. Uh, you should really have the pinballs in the machine before you even turn it on or else it will just kind of go through a searching for pinball. Um, all in all though, it looks amazing. Uh, I'm gonna go into the little baggie right now. Let's talk about the baggie. So I grabbed the baggie real quick. The big thing I do wanna check out is the other head for the gangster. It, I thought it was gonna be a whole entire body, but it's only the head. So it must be pretty simple to change out, again, as you're watching this, please remember, this is my first ever pinball machine. Uh, I am ecstatic. <laughs> a couple of things though, it does have, for example, these magnetic cards. This is a cool feature. Uh, I honestly do like the rule set, but this also does look clean if you remove both the cards. Um, it's kind of preference, and again, it's magnetic. It's pretty cool. As you can see, it, it comes right off and it sticks right on. It does look gorgeous without it. I'll probably do a quick B-roll of what it looks like without it. Again, for me, I'm gonna be putting the card that says $1, one play. It is right now set to free play, but I'm gonna most likely modify it. I've never seen it done before. Um, I'm the type of person, especially when I play like my V-Pin, you know, I have it set to coin mode. So if you don't have enough coins and you press start, 
there's like a call out. It might make fun of you. So I don't even know if there's any call outs for the Godfather. So I'm probably gonna do something where when you push the actual coin door reject, it'll insert a coin. That I'll probably try out on my own as a mod. Um, but yes, I'm gonna change out the card real quick. The big thing I did wanna go over real quick was the pinballs. Again, my first ever machine, you're probably like me, if it is your first machine where you're just like sitting online and like researching and all that. I bought like all the cleaner. Even before we played, I have a microfiber cloth. I kind of just went around the play field just to make sure there's nothing there. I don't even want to touch it with my fingertips. Um, that's just how precious it is to me. Take a look at like the rubbers, for example. The rubbers look great. I mean, on this, the red looks, I like the red flippers on this. Some people say it does look pinkish. I think this looks awesome. But going back to the pinballs, as far as sterns, again, I don't have a stern, but many people complain. There's actually a video, I forgot the gentleman's name. I think it's like Gonzo uh, overseas. He did a whole thing about the stern pinballs, like fresh out. You can see all the specs and all that. I do have ball barons uh, on the side. I did put the Jersey Jack pinballs in this just for my brother-in-law to play. I'll probably run them for like maybe five games. And I do plan to swap them out with the pinball barons. The big thing again, before you even turn on the machine, you should have the six pinballs in or else it will do a search. Don't just throw them in. I'm going to give a big shout out to my buddy, Project Canada. Um, he told me, hey Vic, pick up yourself 99% alcohol. I have it over there. I put it in a cup and then I dropped the pinball in it. I let it sit in there for about 10 seconds. I took, a, I took it out with a microfiber cloth, I cleaned it, and then I dropped it into the play field. Um, I did that for all six balls. Again, I do have right now the Jersey Jack balls inside of this. Um, I do want to play it. I'm going to make a separate video now. Like I said before, I'm going to be doing it. I'm going to see how many steps exactly, but if you do go to pin side, and if you look at the, um, I forgot the wording, it's kind of like uh, starred topics. There is a couple of things that, I don't want to say the word concerning, but there is a couple of things that you should do before you really get in depth and playing. Playing like one or two games is fine, but I'm going to type right now, the glass is off. I'm going to run this, so I'm going to do my next episode right now after this. I'll be all sweaty, I don't care. Um, there's going to be a couple of things. Basically, like there's a part underneath the play field that somebody had and it actually shorted uh, because it touched one of hey, them. everybody, come on, pay attention. Come here. That scared the shit out of me. <laughs> it <laughs> basically this piece hit like the drop target underneath, and it blew. And Jersey Jack kind of sent the guy a whole new thing. There's also a piece down here by the apron that apparently is very close to the metal that it might short. Um, what else? There's also one big thing, and it kind of upsets me. Uh. It is in regards to the gold side rails and the gold lockdown bar. Again, you'll stay tuned for the next video. We'll go more in depth. I don't know for sure. Uh, I did have ideas of clear coating the side rails and the lockdown bar. It is kind of a concerning thing, especially for the amount of money that was spent on this. Uh, but honestly, before I jump ship, before I get there, um, I'm going to probably reach out to Jersey Jack, see what their solution is. Uh, and worst case, you know, if it's, I don't know, 100 to 150 bucks for a new set, I'll probably just buy it and then have it on the side. Um, that is honestly it. We are up. We are running. As far as other little stuff, some people, like I said, on pin side, go to pin side. That's probably the best thing. Some people might have a couple of errors. You might want to check your connections underneath. Make sure everything is nice and tidy. Again, I watched my brother-in-law. He is the compound multi-ball champion on this, and that's going to change soon. Um, but I haven't played this fully to test out and see everything. Um, I do plan to do that. Again, most likely today, right now, I'm going to do like the main things that is suggested to fix. Something with the ramp. And again, this apron shorting is a kind of concerning thing. But other than that, I, I am ecstatic it is it's home uh it is a thing of beauty again it's my first ever real pinball machine just watching my react the reaction of my brother-in-law playing it just seeing it it was off and he was like holy shit the, 
this again, I know Jersey Jack, some people say they, they're considered the Rolls Royce of pinball. It is a thing of beauty. Uh, I definitely will not, I plan not to ever get rid of this. Uh, again, like I said, you'll stay tuned for another video. This machine right here, some people don't like it. They don't like the theme. All I gotta say in my shoes, in my opinion, I saw the promo video for this. I was never gonna buy a real pinball machine. I saw the promo video for this, it caught me. I then went to go play this. Again, I'm gonna say this in a whole separate video, and I was hooked. I was like, I wasn't gonna get this, but then I have it. <laughs> On that note, there you go. Unboxing the Godfather 50th Anniversary Collector's Edition Jersey Jack Pinball Machine. I'm not totally done. I still have to do like the lion legs. I should do that. But again, um, that's easy. Th those are magnetic. Uh, you'll probably see that later on. My thing right now, my focus is to just do these five things or ten things uh, because I don't want stuff to short out. So on that note, stay tuned for more videos. And again, be sure to like and subscribe. I can't wait to play. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. <laughs>